and thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. And David... Well, Kevin and God... Thanks, David. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Round the small floor with Tatum holding down the four spot. Walker and Smart, the guard. And it's Williams at the five spot. And for the Nets, they've got Joe Harris. Harden out there with Irving. And there's Green. And it's Jordan in at the five, roaming the paint. Now, here is Irving. Feeds it to Jordan. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. You love the leadership of Kyrie Irving from the lead guard position. Yes, he's looking to score, but he's adept at finding the open teammate. And DeAndre Jordan, not the same impact center he once was, but he's done a great job of acting as a leader for this team. Well, you think about DeAndre Jordan's career, Greg, and over the course of time, he's played a number of different roles. What you like about what he did this past season is, even though in a changing role, he still tried to make an impact. That's called being a teammate. Green dishes to Hart. And Kemba Walker is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Stolen by Walker. Opportunistic defense on that possession, guys. Bottom in a play so far here in the first. And the foul on Marcus Smart. That's his first foul. Irving kicks to Harden. Back to Irving. Stolen by Smart. Yeah, two turnovers already in just the first few minutes. Clearly a bit careless. They need him to refocus. Boy, the knack for scoring inside one of Kemba Walker's most special skills. Wow. Here is Harden. Kemba Walker making his last shot. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. They kick it out to Green. Back to Jordan. Down to five on the shot clock. Rebound by Williams. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Walker leading the charge. The shot's good. Walker's got six. So out of the gates, three for three. Exactly what they're looking for. Irving looking over the floor to the paint. Here's Jordan, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, DeAndre Jordan making his presence felt at the offensive end. Nice. It's his first trip to the line. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. Edwards, he's checked in for Walker. Now, here's Smart to the inside. The kick out to Tatum. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on DeAndre Jordan. How about the confidence from this young gun? Jason Tatum's length is tough to deal with inside, guys. In his career, surprising some scouts, Tatum's hit a high percentage of his threes. The difference last year, he took a whole lot more of them. He understood, Greg, that his game needed to be more efficient. Far fewer mid-range, long-range twos. He almost doubled the number of three-point attempts from the year before, and that was by design. This guy understands success in the modern NBA, plays at the rim, and plays from three. And the Celtics with possession here, following the bucket by the Nets. Brown finds William. The kick out to Brown. And it's blocked by Jordan. The DJ twice on the pipes. No, sir. Get it out of here. A nice shot by Tatum. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for Boston. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. <laughs> How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. It's good. Tatum's got six points. How about that? The quick feet, quick thinking makes the play an easy one in screen and roll action for Jason Tatum. 
And Harris, wide open. He shoots. The kick out to Irving. Takes the three. And Harris is good for three. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. We've got 128 left in the first quarter. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Check in for Boston. One twenty-seven left to play here in the first. Irving with the steal, and now Irving pushing it up. No one back to stop him. That puts them in the lead. There's no doubt. Kyrie Irving has proven to be more active as a defender now. He has a good feel for when to go after steals. Now here's Walker. He has six. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Yeah, you know, a lot of coaches might let you hear it for taking the three-pointer on the break, but I like the decision there. The D had already collapsed inside. Here's Walker. Brown outside. The pass to Walker. The kick out to Brown. Hands with the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched it last. Active hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. Five on the clock. Smart, wide open. He fires. And it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. Here is Harden. Their offense has been great here. Yeah, the ball movement has been terrific and they've kept the defense off balance. Down low, Jordan. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got five assists in the game. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Walker's shot is off. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Here's Irving, and he makes good on the way Irving's got seven. And beginning to take charge of this game. This could be a crucial point. Well, working hard, building out a small lead, but you can't afford any kind of letdown here. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. For Boston, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. As a young man growing up in New York, Kemba Walker was part of a performance team. And this young man is a performer between the lines as a basketball player. There is a bit of improvisation there as well. And so it's DeAndre Jordan making things happen for Brooklyn. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we'll be back with you shortly. Just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And uh, from Brooklyn guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. What terrific work at the offensive end. They have built some early momentum here. DeAndre Jordan is out there with Green. Then it's Joe Harris. Then it's Harden. And it's Irving at the two-guard position. That's the Nets five as we get into the second quarter. Harden scanning the floor. Pass to Jordan. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. He's got 10. A new generation of players, Greg, coming into the NBA alongside your son, Cole. Uh, we've got a lot of players who I think are going to have a long-term impact on this game. All right, there's no doubt about it. Listen, I hope Cole can have the kind of impact that some of these guys are, but look at the Grizzlies. I think they got two terrific ones. John Morant has superstar written all over him. Brandon Clark probably surprised some people with his ability to have an impact. And if you look at this past draft, Obi Toppin is one to watch. This is a guy with great size and length who was a perimeter player until he had a growth spurt. So those are the types of players that I think when you combine athleticism and skill with the way the court is spaced, man, can have a tremendous impact in this game. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. 
Tatum against Harden. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Smart passes to Tatum. Smart kicks to Williams. Outside, Smart. Back to Walker. Can't tie it up as that one misses. The Nets with the lead. Nobody near Irving. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. But what a wizard Kyrie is in the open floor. Utilizes his speed to help create open shots in transition. That's beautiful. And it's Brown missing. Brooklyn leading by four. And Doris, much has been made of Brown's improvement offensively, and rightly so. But when you ask Coach Stevens about him, he always goes back to his defense. Well, it's never a surprise for the coach that that is the first and foremost thing on their mind. At 6'7", with a 7-foot wingspan, that incredible athleticism, Jalen Brown can guard the elite wings in this league, and he holds his own and competes at a high level. It's a must-have for any championship team. Well, we've seen this one or two times, have we not? DeAndre Jordan, finishing end of the alley-oop. Nice. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Irving passes to Jordan. The kick out to Irving. Lobs it up for Jordan. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Tatum with it. Picked up by Harris. And the basket by Tatum. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And that one misses. Well, you know what DeAndre Jordan is going to bring to the table every night. Great effort, incredible presence on the backboards, a ton of length defensively. Love everything he does for you. Irving from long range gets it to go from beyond the arc. Irving's got 12 in the game. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. Smart passes to Williams. And Walker kicks to Tatum. Celtics passing it around. Williams dishes to Smart. Five to shoot. And that one drops for him. Williams has got four points now in the quarter. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Harden the pass to Jordan. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, DeAndre Jordan's a problem because if he gets that close, you know the defense has to commit to him. And he's good on the second. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Celtics trail by four. Walker the pass to Brown. Inside, Williams kicks to Walker. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And moving to a star-laden team last year, Walker continued to produce as he always has. And the scoring average may have gone down, but that was totally expected. This has been a seamless integration of Kemba Walker. Coach Stevens has got to get some credit here. You allow Kemba Walker to play to his strengths, but you also allow him to thrive in the team situation with other talent. Here's Walker to the middle. It's stolen by Green. Knocks it loose. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Four-point game. Brown outside. And it's Williams throwing it down. And one thing Williams has, a lot of natural strip. You can play him physical, but most of the time, he's going to win that battle. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. Brooklyn's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Harden with it. He's picked up by Walker. Harden against Walker. Harden, that's good. Inside, outside. Harden will attack you from anywhere. Nice play. Irving kicks to Harden. 
And it's good off the back rim and in. And it's a five-point Nets lead. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Brown, good. Well, to me, that's excellent timing from Jalen Brown. He shoots with confidence, knowing his teammates trust him. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Nets out in front. They lead by two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Kyrie, they got themselves going in the second quarter. How do you get control of the game back? All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again. DeAndre Jordan came out on a mission in the first. He ended up with 15 points. And... And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. What a game we're seeing from Kemba Walker. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now this guy is such a good finisher on the move. And so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. Second half underway. Here's who Brad Stevens got on the floor. Walker in towards the guard. Round the small floor with Tatum holding down the four spot. And it's Williams at the five, down low. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. Outside Tatum. He's looking for Williams and finds him. Brown outside. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. And he gets the bucket. Harden's got eight. <laughs> really good ball movement there in transition. Harden against Walker. The kick out to Tatum. It's tipped. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Celtics ball. Poked away and stolen by Jordan. Kicks it out to Harden. Stolen by Smart. Outside, Walker. And it's good assisting on the play was Williams. Williams has got six assists in the game. Well, you can watch Kemba Walker see that play develop, and the explosive speed ensures that he's going to finish. Harden the pass to Green to the paint. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Oh, going high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one-hand jam. And Walker kicks to Tatum. Walker dishes to Tatum. Greg, you and I have talked about how the NBA Finals used to be tape delayed. What's the value of fans getting to see the broadcast live now as opposed to tape delayed as it was back in the, in the 70s. Isn't that a, a weird to even think that that's it the is. case? I know. But, it. You know, <laughs> I think, Kev, yeah, that the fans, they just feel more connected to their favorite teams, the end players. Uh, it creates more anxiety, right? Because nowadays there's nothing that can happen that you don't know about it, whether you see it or not. Uh, so live sports, uh, especially the NBA Finals, the anticipation, that anxiety that we talked about man I, I'm still a fan to this day in a different way uh, so I can only imagine when you have a personal vested interest in a team what that's got to feel like edge of your seat right it's Harden with the drive Irving kicks to Harden launches a three out to Harris nice ball movement by Brooklyn Irving can't get it to go. And you will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. And Jordan gets it to go. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Here's Walker in for another field goal. A sublime 9 of 14 on the night combination of things in play here high basketball IQ elite handle strong jumper oh look out Kemba and Doris last season for Kyrie Irving really one of waiting no Durant on the year 
to play off of. And then Kyrie's season with the Nets was cut short due to injury. Well, second surgery for Irving in the last three years. You obviously hope he and KD can stay healthy and try to revitalize this Nets organization. Irving is so excited about being on the court. The NBA misses him when he's not playing. Let's hope he stays healthy. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, how about the shiftiness of Kemba Walker? Defender struggle to keep up. That's why you see him get the contact call. And so Walker nails both of them. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Here's Jordan and the dunk by Jordan. Well, DeAndre Jordan cooking right now. This guy is so efficient. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Walker the pass to Tatum. Passes it to Walker. He feeds it to Williams. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Irving. No good there. Now Boston takes it the other way. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. The Celtics haven't made a mistake at the line yet. Ten of ten. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for Brooklyn. And Harden wide open. He shoots. And Tatum pulls it down. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. It's stolen by Green. Harris with it. Now guarded by Tatum. And Harden with the basket on the assist from Harris. Harden's got 12 points in the game. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assist. Walker goes in, and Jordan sends it back. And now the fast break. Irving with the ball. Pass to Jordan. Back to Irving. From outside, off the mark. The Celtics have gone 5 of 7 from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. Walker's shot is off. Brooklyn's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. To the middle. Oh, and the jam by Williams. I think Brown demonstrating he's got a great understanding of the game. He keeps his head moving, his eyes open, so he can spot the open man. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. And so it's DeAndre Jordan making things happen for Brooklyn. He got into double digits for the... And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. The Nets with the lead. Green is out there with DeAndre Jordan. Then it's Kyrie Irving. Then there's Harris. And it's Harden in at the point. So that's the Nets' five. Irving. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got six assists in the game. Austin shooting a tremendous 61% from the floor. Hitting at all cylinders. Smart passes to Walker. And it goes down two points. Walker's got 16 here in the second half. Well, you have to admire how Smart is running this offense right now. He has a knack for spotting open teammates. Here are the Celtics with the ball. Trailing by two. The pass to Williams. Dishes it to Walker. The feed now to Tatum. Back to Walker. Lock at six. And oh, here we go with Green. Nobody back. And the rejection by Tatum. Well, really improving as a defender. Jason Tatum has those long arms to redirect shots. Walker against Green. Stolen by Harden. Got it, the fast break chance. Right side, Jordan. Rebounded by the Celtics. Tatum's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Walker. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. 
It's going to be on DeAndre Jordan. There's a level of aggressiveness and assertiveness from Kemba Walker right now. He's putting the defender in a bind. Nothing you can do but foul him. Kemba Walker hits them both. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Pass to Green. Inside. Here's Jordan. Out to Harris. Here's Harden on the wing. Outside, Green. On the wing, Irving. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And the Nets lead by two. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Tatum finds Walker. Back to Tatum. Nice ball movement by Boston. Williams passes to Smart. It's stolen by Green. In transition, here come the Nets. Irving leading the charge. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. The putback, great positioning on the putback. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. And Walker kicks to Smart. To the inside. Here's Williams. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got seven rebounds in the game. Irving for three. Another miss by Irving. Celtics trail by four. They get a hand on it. In the corner, smart with it. Boston again missing. The Nets have gone through of eight here in the fourth quarter. Harden with it. Out guarded by Smart. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. Shooting for Brooklyn. So he comes up empty, missing both. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Irving from long range. Harris kicks to Irving. Back to Harris. Down low. Shot clock at five. Another shot. Williams with the block. The reach of Williams is outstanding. He uses it to perfection to deny shooting. My goodness, Kemba under duress, big time basket. Well, consistency is so critical, especially in clutch moments. This guy has got that gene. Brooklyn's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And slam dunk by Jordan. Absolutely fearless. DJ go to work. Celtics trail by three. Walker in the post. Guarded by Harris. They double him with Green. Brown kicks to Tatum. Back to Brown. Passes to Walker. Here's Tatum. Good. And that shot brings them to within just one. And that one sends the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. Harden finds Irving. To the inside. It's in! Well, DJ with the fearless opportunity, boy. What a shot. Points are an absolute must here. And no time to waste. Not at this point in the game. It's good! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Uh, Kemba Walker is fearless and doesn't let the game situation or the clock impact his ability to score it. About three seconds between shot and game clock. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. And the way Harden plays the game, Incredible, so much energy and really as creative as they come. Well, it doesn't get much bigger than that. A perfect trip to the line to give them the critical three point cushion. What poise! No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. And, and that's curtains for him. Some really good work at the charity strike to close this one out. Stolen by Harden, so they foul intentionally. It's the first one, and that increases their lead to six. 
second one is good. Hitting both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Well, we know this. Free throw shooting is such a mental aspect of the game. This guy keeps his composure and comes through. And the rejection by Tatum. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tatum. Harden way outside. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. So it's the Nets picking up the win. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans. But in the end, everyone's satisfied. Uh, I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on. But let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. Chestnut has sent it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. 